we do something else. We have those big monster shows and after that people can see it on video and forget about it. Shows zijn een belangrijk element in de geschiedenis van de mode, want dat is de plek waar aan het publiek getoond en verkocht wordt. Mode is weliswaar een vorm van kunst waar een hele bedrijfstak flink aan verdient, maar dat betekent niet dat de modewereld geen geweten heeft. Modeshows voor een goed doel zijn er altijd geweest. Tegenwoordig zijn het schitterende evenementen. Het is de enige gelegenheid waarbij vrouwen elkaar en de rest van de wereld hun kleren kunnen laten zien en tegelijkertijd meehelpen aan de goede zaak. De Londense ontwerper Bruce Oldfield organiseerde een show ten bate van Dr. Bernardo's, het weeshuis waar hij is opgegroeid. De opbrengst van Karl Lagerfelds show in de Bronx Conservatory Gardens is naar de kankerbestrijding gegaan. Bij de Beneficio van Chanel voor de Metropolitan Opera in New York gaven vele kunstenaars, politici en andere prominenten acte de présence. Maar de grootste show op dat gebied was Fashion Aids in de Londense Albert Hall, waarnaar 6000 mensen kwamen kijken. De Britse ontwerper Jasper Conran had hier vele leidinggevende figuren uit de hedendaagse mode bijeengebracht, die allerlei vormen van mode vertegenwoordigden. Van straatmode tot culturen uit Parijs, Londen, Milaan, Tokio en New York. Op die unieke avond toonden vele ontwerpers die tot de beste ter wereld behoren hun collectie. It was the huge scale of the thing. We had to raise a half a million pounds just to put the show on. We had 15 pounds of lighting equipment, a thousand people backstage. You know, I mean, there were Buddhist monks and go Tina Turner lookalikes and. It was all, it was like a Fellini movie. Jerry Hall gaf haar vier minuten durende voorstelling de allure van een popshow mee. What was so interesting also was to see how everybody worked in a different way. Isimiyaki, at lunchtime he had a big thing of sushi laid out for all his models. And that was a kind of relaxed approach to doing. Our man was the most perfectionist, he was an incredible perfectionist, and he was so impressive. Every single thing had to be checked, double checked, rechecked. And when it came out, it was like cool flowing water. And it was very impressive. E ho visto una fauna umana molto interessante, bellissimi giovani, bellissime ragazze, eh, molto divertenti come si muovevano nei, nei meandri di questo Royal Berrol, come si dice. E io ho vissuto um, per uh, qualche ora la moda inglese e ho trovato che è stato molto interessante per me, nel loro essere liberi da qualsiasi eh, condizionamento. Poi devo dire che... Um, mi ha molto emozionato in fondo perché questi capi miei eh, che uscivano dopo questo, queste sfilate abbastanza carnevalesche inglesi, di questi stilisti inglesi molto divertenti ma anche diciamo molto spettacolare, di presentare la mia moda così semplice, tante volte così rigorosa, poteva rappresentare un rischio. In realtà ho visto che la gente ha apprezzato questa mia moda e questo è stata una conferma che in fondo non occorre tanto far rumore con luci, baccano, tamburi, per far apprezzare la propria moda. The world is getting closer to similarities in lifestyle, that's for sure, and there's certainly parts of Europe and parts of the United States that are somewhat interchangeable. As an international traveler, 
going from country to country as I often do, I, I certainly can see a certain class of people that are living very much in the same kind of lifestyle because there's travel, the media, um, exchange of ideas has created this, uh, this citizen of the world, if you will. There's no limit in fashion now, and it's why if you see the magazine, you see so many different lines, so many different styles, so many different uh, color, you know. And uh, before it's more limited. Now you have, you have everything is free, is open. And maybe it's why fashion is going every direction. fashion in uh, interior design in architecture we have to find a new something that is uh, that makes you feel established not something that makes you uh, in I am changing 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 I am in uh, in progress is the right word no Fashion is not only clothes. Fashion is a shoe, is a tie, is a boy jewelry, is a glove, is a hair, is makeup, is lipstick, is glass. It's fantastic, the fashion. Fashion is something, maybe they are the food, and second is the fashion, the car is the third. It's enormous popularity all over the world is that fashion is a pleasure pleasure but it, it which is not a vice you see it is something to be enjoyed to be admired uh, on a person in a photograph in a in a in a magazine on a I just see a woman passing in the street on someone you love I mean it's a real pleasure that doesn't have vice connected with it you can talk about fashion for hours but what's interesting about the idea of fashion is that it reflects our life on a very short time level for a year or two and then it disappears and 20 years later it becomes in a way part of history. But I think the past is very creative in the way you imagine or in the way you think it was. Even if it was different, who cares? The idea is creative. And that is what makes fashion really interesting. It fades away, it is short-lived, and in fact, short-lived things only can become symbols like Romeo and Juliet. It was a one nice stand, but it became the symbol of eternal young love. And fashion is also a short-lived thing and only because it's short-lived, you can remember it forever. Mm -hmm.